<laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm a little flustered right now. What would you do? How about this? A little bit of a backstory. Okay. I charge for pickup and delivery. There is no such thing as free. I hate that word. Some of you guys know this already. Bill Clement, you've had this conversation. I use the word courtesy. The word free, I believe, is like a dirty, nasty word of the English language. And it unlocks some sort of false expectations of a potential customer or future customer or an existing customer. So I always use the word courtesy. So earlier this week, I had a neighbor stop by and ask me about snowblower repair. Now, believe it or not, this neighbor has been on the channel in one of our lawnmower garage sales. Um, which is pretty interesting, right? It's funny how the world works. Haven't seen her since. So anyway, she purchased a snowblower from her neighbor and the neighbor promised her that it was working. The neighbor moved and of course it's not working. She went to go put gas in it and she said gas was pouring out all over. She said she looked at it, she can't see where it comes from. And I'm like, okay. So she was like, when can you come pick it up and do the repair and how much? So I'm just like, all right, well, pick up and delivery for you is $25, okay? Then you're looking at another $25 diagnostic fee, okay? And then if you choose to go through with the repair, the $25 diagnostic fee goes towards the repair. The pick up and delivery charge is separate. And she was like, uh, you charge for pick up and delivery? I'm like, yeah, you know, I and I literally turn around to her and says, you know, Mandingo's not cheap. I took it into town today to get parts and run a few errands, right? I paid almost six dollars a gallon for diesel, right? Element, you guys know how this thing goes. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All of these vehicles cost money. You have insurance, maintenance. I mean, Mandingo has, I don't even know how much tires there are, are anymore right now. But Mandingo has four, eight, 12, 16. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you see where I'm going? Six tires times 400 a pop. Hey, right? Let's not talk about all the work we just got done to it, not including my time. The Honda Element, right? I lifted that thing, put this through the rigmarole. And even if you don't have vehicles like this, it doesn't matter. This has value. So if you guys have to use this, you guys need to put a price on this. So I basically told her, like, listen, it's 25 bucks, it's non-negotiable, yada, yada, yada. And she's like, but you live close by. And I says, okay, if you live close by, I said, bring the machine to me. She's like, you, you seriously mean like walk it over? I'm like, yeah, walk it over. If you're so close, walk it over so she was like well let me see if I can get someone to help me and then she's like well how do I get the snowblower into the into my friend's vehicle so I'm like all right listen you guys could pick it up if you can pick it up come here I will let you borrow my ramps and when I say I let you borrow my ramps means like you're gonna come here pick up my ramps get the snowblower and bring it right back. This is not hold on to the Rams for a week. This is not how this works. And I says, and when I'm done with the machine, you're gonna pick it up, take the machine, drop it, and come right back with the Rams. And she wasn't too thrilled about that. And I thought, I thought that was pretty damn near courteous, right? Um, so today. I took Mandingo on its first drive. I haven't driven it in maybe like two, three weeks, which is terrible. You're not supposed to, especially with the new kid on there. You're supposed to drive it at least once a week. Um, 
I had to cut through a portion of town to get to where I needed to go. And guess who saw me? Guess who saw me? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So, guess who stopped me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She stopped and said, hey, how are you? Blah, 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 blah. She was like, do you have your ramps on you? And I said, no. And then she was like, I was like, are you going to drop off the snowblower today? She's like, no, since you drove past my house, she was like, on the way back, since you're stopping through, why don't you grab my snowblower? Because you're in the area, you don't have... And you don't have to pay me the $25 to pick up the snowball. I'm like, what? Are you are you kidding me? I'm like, um, oh no, ma'am, I'm sorry. So she was like, well, how about this? She was like, take my number. And she was like, the next time you're passing my house, just come grab the machine. Because you're in the area anyway. She's like, I trust you. And then she's like, and then you don't have to charge me because you're there anyway. And I just basically says, oh, you know, sorry, ma'am, I don't have the time right now. And I says, you know, I will call you and if you're able to drop it off, drop it off. If not, we'll schedule a time to pick up and deliver. And she was like, okay, are you gonna charge me to schedule a time? And I says, yes. So she was like, I don't understand when you're in your travels, why you just can't pick up my machine. It's my neighbor singing. And I just said, I don't know what my schedule is like. Every day is different for me. And, uh, she was like, okay, she was like, well, I'm going to leave the snowblower out, keep your ramps in your truck, and then when you're in the area, just text me so I know if it's missing, I know you have it, just come grab it, do what you got to do, and drop it back off. And I'm like, uh, yeah, okay, thank you, have a nice day. So guess who is not going out of their way to pick, or who's just going to divert their way? Now, technically, I didn't even need to go through town to like, I didn't need to go through this area, but I need to kick off the rust on the rotors. So that's why I went through 10, like through this little acklove, hit all the stop signs. You know, I, I actually needed to use the brakes, okay? I didn't need to just cruise. So uh, thanks for this little rant. Um, what would you guys do if you were in my situation? Tell me what you guys think. Later.